and welcome back to my channel. It's Growing Us in Heels. Good to see you all again. Today I wanted to talk more about the Chanel Dyna flat bag, which is the bag that I have right here. I bought this bag in 2015 from the London Old Bond Street store and when I saw it at the point in time, I didn't know what it's called. I just thought it looks very cute um, and that's when I purchased it. So I'm going to split my video into five sections today. Number one, I'll first talk about the history of the bag, the story of the bag. Number two, the comparison between the original Chanel Diner flat bag with the reissue version, which is the one I have here. Number three, sizes and what fits inside. Number four, the different ways you can wear this bag. And number five, where you can buy this and overall thoughts. So let's get started. So on the history of the bag, this bag was designed by Karl Lagerfeld back in 1989 and the bag was produced from 1989 all the way to mid-1990s. The bag got really popular when Princess Diner was photographed carrying it and that's where it got its name from, the Diner flat bag. They stopped producing the bag for a long time and in 2015, they had a reissue. So this is the one that I, I have. It came in two different sizes, the small, which is right here, as well as the medium sized. If I remember correctly, they released it in three colors, black, camel, which I'll insert a picture right here, as well as the red version. Comparing this reissue version with the original Diner flap, I want to point out three key differences. Number one, in the reissue version, you can see that there are two grommets on each side, and this allows you to wear the bag double strapped. Whereas in the original version, there's only one grommet on each side, and what that means is that the bag can only be worn on the side on, on the side shoulder or one cross body. There is no way for you to double up like this for the reissue version. Difference number two is the inner pocket. So if you look at the reissue version, there's an inner pocket right here. I find it very useful to put my name cards or credit cards. In the original version, there is no pocket here. Difference number three is the back pocket. So in the reissue version, there is a very small back pocket here, whereas for the original, it's completely flat. I find that the small pocket, even though it's small, it's really useful because I slip in my receipts or sometimes even my, my card as well. Now, difference number four is the strap. So in the reissue version, the strap has a leather handle here which I feel adds a lot of comfort on the shoulders. In the original version, everything is chain and leather. So if you would like to find out more details of comparison between the reissue version and the original Diner flat bags, I highly recommend you to check out the blog My Grandfather Things. She is an expert on Chanel Diner flats and she does a very in-depth comparison there of both bags, including pictures as well. So do check her out. In terms of sizes, the bag comes in two sizes. The one that I have here is the small size. I have my Chanel Classic flat in medium to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So you can see that the medium is probably a few centimeters wider and a few centimeters um, taller. I would say this is the size of this Dyna bag is more comparable with the Chanel small um, classic flap. So in terms of what fits in the bag, I know it looks quite small, but I feel that the bag fits all my essentials. I've just put my iPhone Pro inside. I am able to fit my card holder as well. And there is extra space on the side for me to put my lipstick. You can see, um, I can probably still squeeze in my car keys and my house keys. So it is a little bit compact, but I find that it is the perfect size for me to fit all my essentials. So you are able to wear the bag in five different ways. The first way is on the shoulder like this, which is probably one of my favorite ways to wear it um, during summer. 
So this is only available on the reissue version because in the original Chanel Dyna version, you, you can only wear it single strap. So this is method number one. Method number two is to wear it on the shoulder, on the longer strap. And this is how it looks on my frame. I'm 1.6 meters for reference. What I prefer when I wear it as a single strap is this way. So you can actually shorten it. I think it sits much better on my frame and I really like this additional detail right here. The third way to wear it is cross body. And for cross body, I put it on a longer strap over my shoulders like this. It works really well when I'm wearing a winter coat. I feel that this length works perfect. The very last way is as a clutch. So what I do is I stuff the chains in the interior of the bag. Like this. And I carry it like this as a clutch. So as you can see, the bag is extremely versatile. It works well as a formal bag. It's extremely elegant. It's very casual as well. You can wear it crossbody or on the shoulder um, if you're out shopping or having brunch with your girlfriends. Now on overall thoughts, prices, and where you can buy this bag. So when I bought this bag in 2015, it was 1,990 pounds around there. And I thought it was such a good deal because if you look at the interior of the bag, it's fully leather lined. If you can see it, it's fully leather lined. Um, and if you look at the cheaper Chanel bags these days, the interior of the bag is made out of fabric. Now, the only way to buy it is second hand. I do see quite a couple on Vestier, on Fashion File, and check out the Japanese resellers as well. I find that they do have many variations of this. The most common form of the Dyna bag is in lambskin and in shiny gold hardware. Those that were produced um, in the original version from 1989 to mid-1990s. Do also follow my grandfather things. She does collect these bags and they do go on sale once in a while. This is one of my favorite bags. It will always be in my bag collection. And I find that, yeah, I get a lot of compliments whenever I wear this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this bag and any other types of content you would like to see. And before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Goodbye.